Okay, welcome back to the Math Goose, where in Math 8 we've been talking about exponents. Specifically in this video we're going to be talking about um, exponents 2, questions 5 and 6. These are review from past units. Okay, so a scientist uses carbon dating 14 to determine the age of a sample of organic material. The amount of a 100 gram sample of carbon-14 remaining after t, um, t years is represented by the equation CT is equal to 100 times 0.99988 raised to the T. Use a calculator to find the amount of carbon-14 remaining after 10 years. Okay, so we're just going to plug this into our calculator like so. And then we're raising it to the 10 because we're 10 years. So we're looking at 99.9 or 0.88. And I'm going to go ahead and plug that back in just because I... Okay, so we are left with um, 99.88 grams. Okay, so we have that much remaining after 10 years. So what percent of the carbon-14 remained after 10 years? 99.9%. Okay, we're just going to round that up to 0.9%. Okay, a jet is traveling from L.A. to Chicago. Find the slope and interpret its meaning. Okay, how far apart are L.A. and Chicago? How long is the plane airborne during the flight? Okay. So we have find the slope, so we're going to go... We're going to go y1 or y2 minus y1 I wrote that backwards but it's okay so we're going to go 1750 minus 1250 so 500 over negative 50. So we're going to go 500 divided by negative 50 in our calculator gives us negative 10. So we have a slope of negative 10. Um, Every minute, 10 miles closer to Chicago. Okay, how far apart are Chicago, LA and Chicago? Well, miles from Chicago is zero minutes, so we have 17, um, 50. Okay, how long is the plane airborne during the flight? So we need to figure out our so we take our slope which is 10 minutes so 10 min, or 10 or 10 miles every minute so I'm just going to go 1750 divided by 10 gives me 175 minutes Okay hopefully that helped um if you have any questions on these let me know and I will do my best to answer them.